Capricorn. So a message I was getting for you guys is things is going to start making sense. So whether that is a good thing or a bad thing, I feel like something is going to start. You're going to be like, oh, that's why that happened. Or that's why they said that. Like, I feel like just something is going to make sense. Something is going to click. Um, also, they were telling me to stay focused. If there's something that you're doing right now, focusing on um, trying to get done, or if there's something that needs to be done in a timely manner, be sure that you are staying focused on that. Because I do feel like right now, this time, it's very easy to, I almost want to say procrastinate. I was getting definitely a vibe like that with you guys. So be sure that you are staying on task and getting done what you need to get done so you're not overwhelmed later. So I do want to give a big thank you to everyone who has joined my Patreon. Also to everyone who has sub hello everyone who has subscribed to my second channel the links to both of those will be down below also do be sure to go check out my merch i got a lot of cool shit over there so yeah let's go ahead and get into your reading also for those of you interested in ordering a personal reading you can visit my website at swordstarot.com where i have different options of different readings you can purchase here's one of the messages for capricorn One of the messages for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Okay, got the Lover's card here coming out. So definitely feel some of you guys could be connecting with someone. We do have the Star card and the Devil card here at the bottom of the deck. So, all right, this is making me feel, well, some of you guys could be um, dealing with another Capricorn, must be a strong Aquarius here and Gemini, but um, the Devil card here with the Star makes me feel like somebody has a lot of hope in a situation that has gone badly so i feel like someone's holding on to hope whether this is you or this is somebody else this could be somebody else that you're dealing with like i said some of those signs that i said um somebody could be hoping that uh, maybe you talk to them or maybe you guys reconcile or something like that um but i do feel someone is thinking about you right now a great deal and the rest what is the energy surrounding capricorn okay two of swords yeah i feel like you were unaware of this also I feel like this person doesn't know how to approach you or they're trying to make a decision on how to approach you. Some of you guys, this could be a Virgo. Um, seven of Wands here. Yeah, maybe you've blocked this person out or maybe this person has blocked you out of their life and it's like now they hope that you guys can speak again. And what is the energy surrounding Capricorn? Knight of Cups. Yeah, I feel like this person's going to come back to you, try to make an offer to you. The only thing that doesn't sit right with me here is the devil energy. It makes me feel like they want something. Like the devil energy, this could be codependency. Maybe you got somebody here that depends on you. Whether this is emotional or financial, something like that. We have the Wheel of Fortune here as well. So yeah, somebody's hoping for a new beginning. But like I said, I don't feel like their intentions are all that good. So princess of cups energy here yeah i feel like this person's gonna come in um really nice two of cups energy maybe like yeah i really connect with you all of that of course i will clarify all these but i don't know this something's just not sitting right here universe why is the lover's energy here some of you guys could deal with the gemini why is the lover's energy here okay the yeah, King of Swords and the Death card. All right. So I feel like somebody is wanting, somebody's seeing shit for what it is. Like the King of Swords, this is somebody that sees shit exactly for what it is. Um, good, bad, ugly. I definitely feel maybe in a relationship, this is something that maybe you're dealing with. Uh, death card energy could be dealing with a Scorpio here. Um, but I definitely do feel something is coming to your attention. Now, the King of Swords, this could represent your energy. Um, noticing these things. Like, notice how this person just observes. Some of the things that you've observed are, like, you're starting to see it come to fruition. You're starting to see shit she should and you're starting to see shit come true and it's like things that you were maybe blindfolded to before two of swords coming out twice things that you were blindfolded to before are definitely um coming to your attention why is the star card energy here yet regardless of all of this somebody still hopes that this relationship will work out whether this is you or the other person hanged man energy okay so clarifying the star we have the hanged man I feel like somebody's stuck. Somebody doesn't know what to do, doesn't know what move to make. Doesn't know what will make them happy, okay. Nine of Cups energy and the Two of Cups, it's like, okay, I, I will say this. I feel like for some of you, 
you're juggling in your head, juggling back and forth between two people, um, two of cups and the nine of cups. You're not sure who's going to make you happy. Six of cups could be someone from your past that you're still thinking about. Or possibly this person's thinking about you. Get strong Pisces energy. Devil card. Clarify the devil. We have the page of cups and the ten of cups. Yeah, like I said, this person's coming in with an offer. Be like, oh yeah, this will be nice. Ten of cups, happily ever after. They just want to use you. Give me more on the devil card. Now, whether this is someone from your past or this is someone that you're with, this person wants to use you. Why is the devil energy here? And of course, if you have like a perfect relationship, this is probably not your reading. But for those of you that are resonating with this, it's very important to know that you, the shit that you're seeing, red flags that you're seeing, things that you're questioning, your intuition's talking to you, um, listen to it. And I do feel like the hanged man here, this represents, this is like, the reason they're hanging here is because until they realize something, whether it's about themselves or it's about someone they're dealing with or both, they cannot move forward until they realize this and like start to move different, do something different. So clarifying the devil, we have the three of swords. This person, I feel like this person that you're dealing with is hurt. And you know that saying, hurt people hurt people. I definitely feel if this is a relationship that's not going anywhere, or you feel as if, you know, this is something that you're not sure if it's going to last long term. You, you really don't know. The answer is it's probably not going to because I do feel like this person that you're dealing with and even yourself as well, if this is something that you're uh, experiencing also, it's like there's some work that needs to be done. I feel like this person that you're dealing with needs to work on themselves before they can be a stable partner for you. Clarifying the seven of wands, we have the ten of pentacles. So yes, this person is blocking you from your ten of pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is overall happiness, satisfaction, financial stability, financial freedom. Like Ten of Pentacles is a great card and it's like this energy that you have in your life is blocking you from achieving that. Why is the Knight of Cups energy here? Knight of Cups could be done with a water sign, Cats, Pisces, Scorpio. We do have the Six of Swords. So yeah, some of you are going to move on. I do feel like this is going to be for a nice group of people. Some of you guys are going to move on and some of you guys are going to hold on to hope for this situation. Yeah. Very confused on what to do in this whole scenario here. I feel like somebody's a smooth talker. I don't know why they're telling me smooth talker. Somebody knows how to talk their way out of shit. So I almost want to tell you, don't, don't fall for it. Four of Cups energy, you're going to always be unsatisfied in this relationship. And I know that's really hard to hear, but it you will always be unsatisfied. So I do feel like... Like I said, until one of you, whether it's the person you're dealing with or you, realize, like, see the truth, see shit for what it is, regardless of how good, bad, ugly the shit is, it's time to make a decision regarding this. And I know a lot of you are really not sure what to do regarding this decision, but it's time to make one. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Okay, Seven of Swords. Yeah, come, truth's coming out. Seven of Swords represents lies. Give me more on the Seven of Swords. Eight of Pentacles and Justice. Okay, so it almost seems like everything you've been working towards, or everything you and this person have been working towards, I feel like is, I don't, I mean, I don't necessarily want to say it's going to go down the drain, but I feel like in some scenarios it's going to, just because you're going to realize that this person is not working with you, they're working against you. Five of Swords energy, that is somebody with bad intentions. Or just Also, that's just somebody that is selfish, like somebody that is very selfish, um, only does things if it benefits them. So I think that if you're dealing with somebody like that, do know that this person ain't going to change. Like I said, you're always going to be unsatisfied in this connection. Why is the Page of Cups energy here? Ooh, Five of Cups. Okay. Five of Cups, this can represent regret. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, okay. I feel like this is like a warning for some of you guys. Like, like I said, if you do not walk away from this relationship, you will regret it. What comes after the four of cups, the five of cups. If you don't make the decision to walk away, you will regret it. Because it's like all this drama, you're going to have to heal your heart from all this. Three of swords, four of swords, you're going to have to heal your heart from all of this shit. Because it's like the drama is not going to stop, five of wands. The drama, the jealousy, the fighting, the arguing, 
the competition, it's not going to stop with this person. Like, whoever the hell you're dealing with, I mean, of course, you know if this resonates with you, um, this person's got to go. Regardless of the connection, I mean, I know there's a strong connection here. Two of Cups, Two of Cups. Strong connection here, but not all strong connections are meant to work out. Sometimes people are just here to teach us a lesson. Tower card energy. Shit is going to fall apart. Tower card, this is this building crumbling down because it was never built on a solid foundation. For some reason, I feel like this month, it's time. It's time for the shit, maybe if you've been holding on to this for a while, like thinking about this for a while, it's time to let go. And it's almost like the tower comes in. If you don't make a decision, the tower will make a decision for you. The universe will make a decision for you. So that's kind of scary to think about. But do know that this can be avoided. Whatever you find out, what, you know, I will clarify this to see what's going on with that. Whatever is going on with this tower, that it can be avoided. Why is the tower energy here? And by avoided, I mean you can walk away from this connection or from this job or whatever it is that's causing you this stress before the tower happens. Either way, you're going to walk away anyway, but it's going to be a lot worse if you wait for the tower to happen. Why is the tower energy here? The tower can represent a lot of things. Shocking news, something falling apart, betrayal, you know, finding out something that surprises you. Like, it, it's, it can mean a lot of things. Page of Wands energy, yeah, I feel like you're going to have to. You're going to have no choice but to move on and do something new. Eight of Swords, you are going to be freed from this feeling, this mental prison. But it's like, I don't feel like it's going to go about it in the best way. Like, I don't know why I'm getting this, but it's almost like if you don't leave this person, this person's going to leave you. Like, I just feel like it's going to be such a slap in the face to you that can be avoided. So be sure that you do avoid it. So I do hope that this reading was helpful for you guys. If you would like a personal reading, you can visit my website, swordstarot.com. Be sure to go check out the new merch at swordstarotmerch.com. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.